What a beautiful place uh, you've got here. And I tell you what, this is, how relaxed is this? The summer holiday. Is this your first week of the summer holidays for the children, is it? First week. Oh, and you've got more to come as well. All right, not going to frighten you too much with the fracking. Uh, now, what we've got is uh, a chance to stop something that could actually blight two thirds of this country. Uh, the good news is uh, the people of Blackpool and uh, the Fowl Coast and Lancashire have managed to win 6 0 against a government, uh, against a company that's not only fracked one well so far in this country and it caused earthquakes. Now, one, pe one or two people will be registering going, Earthquakes in Blackpool? Yes. Two man-made earthquakes in Blackpool. That's the first that we knew about it. We've managed to drag ourselves from having four wells that were already drilled and passed by one person to get in ahead of the company within, well, two years and stop in the next two wells, which is Preston New Road and Rosica. Now, we won in Lancashire in June last year with all the evidence, all the science, and you may hear that we are scaremongers. Well, we use the science, we use the evidence. We put that in front of Lancashire County Council. Rational people made a decision and turned it down. It has now been passed to the Secretary of State to overrule a democratic decision to allow fracking in the UK. Now, in, on the Isle of Wight, don't think you can't come here because you've got two licenses in this area. But the people of Lancashire are coming down to help you stop it before it even begins. So you can have many summers like this where you can sit down and not worry like the people are in my community. Living in fear, living in pain, going to bed, wake up in the morning, worrying about fracking. We're here and we've got a group of people down here that are working doggedly. We need more people, more people on the ground. A lot of people that are moving to this beautiful place, you go around this, I'm every turn to corner, every road you go down, there's a beautiful place you're seeing. Beaches, cliffs, something to fight for. You are like Little England. If you stop it here, we will be passing it around to every single community around the country. But we've got people where we are that are in retirement. They've worked hard all their lives. They've paid into the system. And what they want to do now is just ease up, take it easy. Enjoy this every single day, this beauty. But if fracking comes to your, your community, all these roads, you'll have thousands and thousands of trucks. One truck per every 10 minutes. That came from the Blackpool Inquiry. You're going to have uh, flare stacks with uh, toxins coming out of there flaring that people are going to be breathing in. Let's say it's down here, anybody in those cliffs uh, said they're going to be breathing that in. Now this is not scaremongering. This is not, this is fact. People in America, Canada and Australia, where we've got all these details from, where we've got all this evidence, they're going through that. They haven't got a choice. But we still have a choice in this country. There is no fracking going in this country. There's only one well being passed in over five years. That's down to communities like yourself saying, no, it's not going to happen. I swore five years ago, I will not allow it. I will not let you frack my country because my community doesn't stop at my front door. Great Britain's my community. The world is my community. I am not an environmentalist. I'm a, I'm a DJ kid entertainer who's put his life on hold. It's cost me thousands to get the word out because I know and believe, truly believe that we can stop this before it even begins. But we need to get galvanized. We need to start educating ourselves. And it works. It absolutely works. We are proof. We've won 6 nil. The community won 6 nil. We've cost them over £200 million. £200 million. A, a, a company that we didn't even... We don't know anything about it originally. We know more than them. We know more than our councils. But you can win. And, you, and the people that have moved here from other places around the country, you can enjoy your retirement. Because you've worked hard for it, but you have to work hard now to make sure it doesn't come on your island. The two main things from this, I mean, it's multi-layered, the problems with fracking. But what, when you've got something that's going to turn your water into uh, toxic waste, which is what fracking does, that you've got to dispose of, then you know something's wrong. You can live without oil, you can live without gas, but you cannot live without water and clean air. And what I mentioned before is thousands of trucks on your roads. You know how bad it is sometimes. You have a, a, a road being dug up, which is just up to We've just passed it now. You've got a detour. 
You haven't got that many roads on the island. Imagine thousands of trucks coming on the ferries, thousands of trucks coming on your roads. But you can still stop it. You can still enjoy every summer from now on. So if you want to come down to the tent over there, we're at the green tent, at the furthest one at the bottom there. Uh, it's fracking, information, how can you help us, how can we help you? We are willing to help you. Like I said, I've been fighting this for five years. I've put my life on hold because I know, I know we can still end this. We can stop it before it begins. All you need to do is, is Google Australia, Google America, see children waking up with nosebleeds on a daily basis. A guy called Brian Munkin in Australia, where his land, he's a farmer, he's a landowner. It's now worthless. He can't even sell up to move on. His grandchildren waking up in tears. I don't want to ruin your day today, but just think about today. Just, just give a, a second thought to those people like Brian Monk. Jessica Rurst in Canada is fighting a multi-million pound company and stopping them. Our regulators are not up to the job. The Environment Agency, the HSE are not up to the job. They're out of the depth. We have to educate them. We have got the information. Like I said, we will stop it. So enjoy the rest of your day. This is a beautiful place. I will be back again. There's a proud man. Thank you very much. And a big round of applause to your local community that have been fighting this now for a long, long time. Thank you. Thanks for seeing you again. All right, we'll be back. <laughs>